Oh, what have we got here? Shiny, shiny. <laughs> so this is a John 5 Triple Deluxe Telecaster. Yeah, you heard me. Um, so if you want to check this out and see what it's all about, watch the video. Woo! is a 2014 John 5 Triple Deluxe 70s inspired signature Telecaster. Whew, that's a lot to say. <laughs> Let's check it out. So we've got a Fender Telecaster, obviously, an outer body, which is double bound. Ooh, bindy. With a couple of differences. A big, as you can see, chrome pickguard. Yes, that is steel, folks, and it does show up every little fingerprint. For those OCD people, I will clean that off right now. <laughs> um, so it is a bit of a bugger to keep clean. Um, so he, if you didn't know, John Five is a guitarist for currently Rob Zombie, um, also famous for um, Marilyn Manson. Uh, he does some amazing solo albums. You should check them out. And also he's done performances for like Katie Lang and so forth. So he's a very versatile, like country slash metal player. And uh, he knows a Telecaster or two and he collects them and has a couple of signature models. And so this walk you through this one. So we've got a master volume and a master tone and his previous models were volume volume. So that's a little bit different. Uh, we've got a vintage style Fender tremolo. Um, pretty awesome for intonation and everything like that. Uh, the pickup configuration, we've got three enforcers, uh, wide range humbuckers. So quite interesting and a very, very big sound. These are all nice pickups. Um, before you buy any guitar with an enforcer pickup in it, before you swap it out and swap it for whatever brand you like, listen to them first, because they're amazing. But I'm not gonna lecture you. Uh, the previous owner of this guitar, and there's only been two, um, previous owner had wired this so that this is all three always on and this is like a toggle so like a Tom Morello type of thing um, but that can be changed back to obviously the configuration of a Les Paul bridge three neck uh, but very very nice lots and lots of screws huh in this one <laughs> uh, the neck is a classic C profile 22 fret uh, jumbo frets and we've got a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Yeah, uh, this has just recently been polished and restrung, ready for its next owner. Uh, yeah, it's got the skunk stripe, which I'll show you in a mo. Now here's the different part, is the headstock. John Five always likes doing something a little bit different. Uh, so we've got a jumbo headstock Fender Strat style with the, the big font logo. It looks, looks pretty awesome actually. Who would have thought? Yeah, looks pretty decent. Let's flip it over. Sorry about the camera action there. <sighs> that was the sound of me bumping my lamp, so don't worry, it wasn't the guitar. <laughs> uh, on the back here, we've got all the actual factory stickers still applied, and and yeah, you can tell it's it's a very much a collector's edition type guitar uh, in its quality. The machine heads are Fender locking, which is nice. And as we move down, you can see that C-shape profile. We've got the skunk stripe in there, skunk stripe. I don't know why I say it like that, but I just enjoy saying it that way. And do not throw this pick plate, pick neck plate in the bin, it says. <laughs> I'm not sure why anyone would want to do that. Uh, the strap locks, nothing 
unusual here, just cotton stock standard. Now I did mention it's a tremolo, so we do have the classic springs, um, it's all been tuned so that it's pretty much hard against the, the body, which a lot of people do. Uh, and of course the strings go through here and through the bridge and out the other side. Now it does need a little bit of clean before it's next home. It's our input jack there or output jack, whichever way you like to say it. But otherwise, a beautiful specimen. It has a huge sound, like absolutely huge. And I must admit, it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to this guitar, but it must go on to its new owner. So this is the John 5 Triple Deluxe. Thanks for tuning in. And there's always new videos coming, so like and subscribe. I know it sounds common to say that, but it does help my channel. So I really appreciate it. Anyway, I've hopped on enough.